Hi folks, and welcome back to 12 Bambury Road in the Troy Brunswick area of New York. We're now gonna tour the inside of this lovely home. We are a ranch style with four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage. Coming in at about 1,700 square feet above ground and about 900 square feet below ground. We are on the upper level where you'll find all hardwood floors all newly refinished, fresh paint throughout, all vinyl replacement, double hung tilt in windows. So this is the main living room, family room area. This was a wood burning fireplace and has been converted to gas just for convenience. All the lighting's been updated and very modern. Nice, bright, fresh and clean. So this is the main living room. And now we'll go into the kitchen. The kitchen had been newly remodeled about five years ago. All new cabinetry, countertops, ceramic tile floor, and it is a big eating area. So let's take a tour of the kitchen. All the appliances are upgraded stainless steel and they do remain with the house. That is an electric stove, but there is um, gas to the house. It is heated with natural gas, hot water baseboard, but the owners have installed central air conditioning. So really beautiful and immaculate. Folks, you can move right in, go grocery shopping and uh, unpack and you're good to go. So super large kitchen. Great for entertaining, lots of workspace, plenty of cabinets. But as we get around the cabinets, you're gonna see there's a huge walk-in pantry as well. Uh, the property is sitting on almost a full acre, so it is a double lot. And again, it is Averill Park Schools. As you can see, it's um, hot water baseboard heat. And you could certainly fit an enormous dining room table. I know you're dying to see that Adirondack room. We're gonna visit that next. So off this main area of the kitchen to the right is the door to the basement. This door goes to the pantry, which you will like. It's a huge walk-in pantry. Very well organized, neat, clean, with a really charming stained glass window. You will not run out of room in this house. Now the fourth bedroom in the house is off the kitchen. It's currently being used as a home office, which I think we find in a lot of homes. But you do have double windows and it's a nice big space. So that's bedroom four. I think we're gonna go right to the Adirondack room, then we'll hit the bedrooms upstairs. This is a huge draw. It's actually beautiful out now. So this is screened. I guess you could fully enclose. It is not heated, but certainly the uh, owners have used this in the winter with a little space heating. Deck out to the yard that we saw on the exterior. Very cool. Nice high vaulted ceilings. Everything's in great condition. Beautiful knotty pine floor and a really nice seating area. Super, super nice room, folks. Now we're gonna go back and do the upstairs bedrooms and the last video will be of the basement since YouTube only lets me have so many minutes. So this part is the traditional ranch. There's three additional bedrooms down the hall, but there are two full bathrooms. So there is a master bath. So bedroom one, very nice size, double windows, beautiful flooring, decent size closet. Family bath is across the hall with a full porcelain tub, tiled walls, single bowl sink and commode, the newer floor. Straight ahead linen closet, and then to the right, we'll call it bedroom two. It's 
obviously the baby's room. Again, double windows and all, which is super nice. So this is the air conditioning units. There's three of them throughout the house. One in each of these uh, two bedrooms being used and one in the main living area that does cool the remainder of the upstairs of the house. So now we'll go into the master bedroom, which is quite large. Again, we're over 1,600 square feet, folks. Gorgeous floors, two windows as well. AC unit, nice big double closet. And off to the private bathroom. It's modest, but it's a second full bathroom, folks. Super nice to have. With just commode, pedestal sink, and a ceramic tiled walk-in shower. This is just a little cabinet. So four bedrooms, two full baths up. There is a finished basement that we're gonna head to next. I'm going to pop off so our videos aren't too long. Let's stop. Let's finish with a nice view of that great kitchen again. And then please join us back for a basement tour. See you soon.